Hello everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing part four of our five part video series for St. Patrick's Day nails. Today we're going to work on my ring finger and we're going to carry over the design that we put on our thumbnail by molding and sculpting the tip to look like a slithering snake. So where we left off, um, we were noticing how my baby's daddy is dressed a little too eccentric for me. Um, and we're currently continuing our yard sale and schmoozing it up to the locals for them to purchase my items. And this is probably the most painstaking part of The Sims, I think, when you are doing these yard sales because a lot of talking, not so much buying. <laughs> oh, there's also, if you have this game and um, you bought the restaurant bar uh, expansion pack, you can um, buy and run your own restaurant or bar, and that's annoying too because you have to do the same. Th it's the same thing as a yard sale, except I think you know you get way more revenue than um, having this yard sale table. Oh my gosh, what is this guy doing in broad daylight? He's gonna burn, and I'm too busy to be like bothering with that but I'm going to let this crazy person inside or else he's going to burn in the sun and I may not be able to um, have my chances with him <laughs> so really quick um, yeah like I said we're gonna sculpt this tip to look like a slithering snake um, I think it'll help better if you use poly gels because it'll stay. Um, hard gel tends to run, so um, I'm applying it very thinly. Um, but I think I would prefer to have the poly gel um, to make these little squiggly lines here. Okay, back to the game. Um, I gotta go. And I'm in the middle of uh, a yard sale, and this lady, who probably didn't buy anything at all, went inside my house and grabbed my chili. Like, what the freak? I mean, at least buy something, because now you're just, like, pillaging. So, I don't know. Maybe I need to lock the door when I do yard sales. I sometimes do, but like I said, I forget and then I um, can't invite people over. Thank goodness this yard sale is almost over because um, I don't want her to have an accident. She's She's got to go to the bathroom and she's tired. I want something. Yay. Meanwhile, I think his name is Vladimir. Something like that. He's just like chilling in the house. He don't like me much, but he spends a lot of time with me. <laughs> okay, it's over. You have to go. This poor woman, she's gonna work herself. Judith. Oh, I got my bottled water. I don't know. I think I'm just not used to doing these voiceovers like every day <laughs> it's 
too much talking. My voice is getting all crackety crack. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, she definitely needs a nap. I mean, I guess being pregnant makes you like super tired. Oh, he's back again. Look at you in your nice outfit. He's probably dressed better than me for the weather. Like, why am I wearing a cardigan or whatever the heck that is? A pullover. <sighs> I gotta fix these um plants. It's just driving me crazy. So I just want to group them in fours. So while I do this with our nice calming music in the background there, um, making this tip was just so laborious. Like because it runs, you can only put like a thin amount just so that it doesn't run into itself. So you put a little bit on it and then you cure it. And then you um, nail cleanse the sticky layer off it and then you repeat. And I couldn't tell you how many times I repeated this to get the right thickness. So, um, but you just gotta keep building it up to where it's strong enough to be um, what it is because the fact that it's not a full tip it's already losing its um, integrity in this in the strength uh, so you have to bulk it up to compensate but it doesn't look like too bulky it looks like as if it were our normal tip. Oh, I've been thirsty too. Like lately, water has been tasting so good. And it seems like I can't get enough of it. So, I wanted to show you some of the model homes that I've built. Again, I took architecture so um, I do different styles and I post them um, for download um, I was working on something last year and I said that I would do um, a model of each style of architecture and I've only done like four or five so <laughs> I think eventually I'll go back to designing the different types of homes, but it's a lot. Modeling a home, um, a furnished modeled home could take sometimes days because you can't just sit there and like just build all day. I mean, you have real life stuff happening and then after a while it gets a little frustrating or retire some trying to plan things out I mean this beautiful home here took about you know maybe 10-15 minutes <laughs> but that's because we were on a budget anyway so another way to make money and um, create fame because I have the get famous expansion pack um, is writing a book so that actually pulls in a decent amount of revenue. You can have like 500 plus simoleons come in with one book. So if you end up, it would probably take, if you had nothing else to do, you can definitely finish a couple of books in one day. So that is a good way to earn simoleons. Um, but I'm noticing that she's been very tired lately, and I'm wondering if it's just the air bed because it's, um, you can see they have these little, under the description, it tells you what levels um, they will do for each category. So I want to get a bed that's not expensive, um, but will give them um, a decent amount of energy, um, add comfortability, um, and then I think some of these like reduce stress, <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, we just gotta get a different bed. And for future purposes, I'm gonna I'm gonna just put in inventory um, the pieces of furniture I don't need in case, like you know, if my or when my family grows, they're gonna need at some point a full size bed. So rather than buy a new one. Um, I have one in my inventory so every time you buy an item it's at full price right and then after you place it in the lot and you switch to play if you were to try selling that like if you go back into construction mode and you try to sell it it'll it won't sell for the same amount that you paid for it so it just seems like if at some point I'm gonna need a bed you know, I might as well keep the one that I have now because if I sell it and I just, you know, I'll end up having to rebuy it again. I'm just losing money there. It's a pretty nice bed. Let's take a nap. Or not. Okay, I just don't understand why you would take a nap on the couch when I bought you a new bed. But like I said, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but um, in the uh, game options, you can turn on and oh, turn on or off free will, which means if it's on, they can do whatever they want to do while you're idle. Like so, if you're not clicking on actions to do, they'll just figure something else to do. And then if you turn it off, they do exactly nothing. They just stand there. And if they need something, they're not even going to help themselves. So I like to keep it on. Um, but it's just annoying sometimes when, like, okay, you're tired, but you sleep on a couch. Like, do you not like the bed? I don't understand. Anyway, um, yep, she woke up because she has to go. Definitely priggers. <sighs> okay, so I've built up the tip um, to make it seem like it's a normal nail, just missing some volumes of, of space um, at the tip. And I'm going to shape it up, um, remove some of the bulkness because we added. Um, a decent amount of hard gel to compensate for the, the weak tip. Um, it is a little bulky and not smooth, so I'm just going to even all this out. Happy Lottery Day! Oh, I wish. I never win these things, as in life. Um, so it's a silly holiday, and if you don't do it by 2 a.m., the next day, like, um, your sim gets so sad because they missed out. So, all you gotta do is buy a lottery ticket, I guess. Knowing very well you're not gonna win. Not mad at all. <laughs> So let's try breeding again. And I got doubles, so I'm going to put this in my yard sale inventory. Yeah, she just went outside to eat dinner or breakfast or... Whatever time it is. So I'm going to check to see if there's any actions that I can do here. I mean, I could fertilize it, but I don't think I have it. Yeah, I definitely don't have anything in my personal inventory to fertilize anything. Fertilizing your plants like um, 
increases the quality so they'll cost I mean when you sell them they'll cost more or sell for more geez um <laughs> So that's why you would want to fertilize your um, plants. So while she's writing her book, I'm just uh, going to speed this up. I'm putting foundation gel on the top and underside of my nail. Nail cleansing it, ah. and I'm going to match this out with the other nails. I'm going to put down some white, chic white from Jellish. Um, and it's going to need two coats, and then I'm going to switch over to my black shadow. Uh, and this is not going to be the color of the snake, it's just I need a bold, um, opaque color to be my base as I put um, my green over it. So I'm almost going to be done with this book. Um, she just has to, she's always going to the bathroom. Speaking of books, oh my goodness. So I've been sitting on this book idea for years. And there's like like three three books that I've been thinking about. And people talk about writing books all the time. It's not easy. And it's easier to think about it than to actually do it. And um, because I just want to um, come up with some more entertaining um, elements in my nail videos, I figured um, there is this book that I definitely want to work on that I tried to work on during the quarantine. So um, before doing the St. Patrick's Day nails, I started writing the book out like I basically outlined it and I just needed to start writing. And um, I just like semi finished the first chapter like I think I have everything on it I'm just like I was in the middle of rereading it and fixing some stuff and um and then I just got busy so um might be some time before I introduce that into another nail video um but it's gonna be cute uh there's not much I can say about it right now, but it's going to involve a lot of cookies. <laughs> but he loves the cookie, right? Okay, so just fishing away here. Um, I, if it's an edible fish, well, they're all edible, but like in my world or our world, if I catch like tilapia, it, I'll might as well save it. <laughs> If I get like a beta fish, I do not want to eat that. And if you put it in the refrigerator, like eventually it'll be cooked at some point. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to save the ones that seem um, in the real world reasonable. To eat. And then um, I'll use the rest as fertilizer. So um, if you... Um, catch fish and you have no use for it, it it would be a great fertilizer if you have the pets expansion pack um whatchamacallit the the deposits of your pets is also a good fertilizer and then at some point if you ever find a grow fruit um somewhere and you plant it grow fruit um, when you harvest the grow fruit you can use that to fertilize your plants and um, that's actually a good one as well so i have a cow plant these are fun to have i mean it's kind of a pain to take care of especially when you're um busy but um it grows up to be a, a huge cow plant and the fun part about 
this and it'll, it will it'll be a while before you see it but um when it gets hungry it'll stick out his tongue in a sh and it's a shape of a piece of cake so anybody walking by they have the, the option to feed the cow plant or to take the cake because they think it's a real cake and the, and the cow plant is trying to entice you to take the cake because when you oh, do you get sucked in its mouth and then it like feeds off your essence so if you're happy it'll suck out your happy essence angry sad you know whatever emotion it is it'll eat and then it has udders underneath its chin and you can milk the essence it's the strangest thing i don't even know why this thing is a plant or who came up with it but it's pretty funny because you know the cow plant spits you out when it's done with you and it's disgusting and funny at the same time so yet again another yard sale these are pretty redundant for now until i can get more plants and then um i'm gonna try bu building on publishing my books because um you know a couple hundred dollars here and there adds up to a lot you get like five books even you can bring in you know 1500 simoleons or something like that so I'm matting out the white parts of the snail. I want it to be bland so that my snake will um, pop. We're going to um, Regular top coating, the snake, give a little gloss. There's that celebrity woman that never buys anything. Gives me attitude every time I talk to her. So the black that we put on the snake is um like the the primer um in the painting world. Uh, it acts as like a solid base. Um, so whatever you put over, it, especially if it's a sheer paint have a nice base to to make it more to make it stick out stand out more I guess and there is Mortimer Goth just chilling in my house which would be fine except he's married Mortimer Goth had been around since the Sims the original Sims I think that's um, pretty cool that they kept um some of the characters from the first game. So you can use a um, fine detail brush if you're not confident in the regular size brush. But since this is like a stamping polish, um, you can just wipe it off with like acetone or something. So I'm just putting, just trying to tighten up the lines here.
Okay, so I just took um, some water and some shampoo and mixed it up. And I'm using this fan brush to kind of dollop these bubbles over it and giving it a cure. Um, after that, I'm wiping it with nail cleanse. And as you can kind of see in the video, um, there's a, uh, a texture on it now. You can see it right there. But hold up. I am in labor, so we're going to invite the baby daddy and see if he sticks around. They normally don't, but we're going to have this baby. So exciting. So this is um, the Sims Hospital. There's only one, and... Um, it's not in lot. You can't go there on your own, I think. And just hang out. I think it only pops up when you're... When you need to see the doctor. So, when I did my Winter is Coming nails, it was the Game of Thrones inspired. Nail design, um, I did something similar like this using the shampoo um, suds and um, after I did that I had wiped some powders on there to define the edges of the cells that the, the soap suds created. So this is going to definitely give it more texture and um i want to put two red eyes on the snake so i'm using my gummy jelly and shiny by enio couture all right takes a couple times sometimes to check in but we are walking down to our birthing room and this is gonna freak you out <laughs> If nobody ever knew how babies were born in hospitals and they saw this, they would probably freak out. So this machine, by the way, is how they solve any medical problem in The Sims. Sometimes the machine does silly things. We stop fighting with each other. Like, hello, you have work to do. Oh, that's not a baby. I do have a heart. So, if you're doing the 100 baby challenge, you definitely want to go to, um... You definitely want to go to the hospital because you get a birth certificate. If you just say send alone, you won't get that birth certificate. And the birth certificates help you like just count how much you've done so far. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, we had our first baby. Uh, please let me know. Like this is, I have one more video left. For the St. Patrick's Day series. Um, let me know if you want me to do a standalone um, video of just The Sims to continue this as opposed to waiting for my next um, series because I'm doing short nails um, this coming week and it's not going to be uh, a super long thing. It's short nails, short videos. So have to wait for when I work on my not long nails um, again. So yeah, let me know if you want me to continue um, these videos, the Sims videos on its own, at least until um, we get back to doing the long nails. But yeah, so this is the end result. My little slithering snake nail. You can see the bubble texture on there. 
and it's got that bright red eyes. It's my labor of love. I love this nail. Um, and it's still going strong, so I definitely did a good build on this. Well, thank you so much for watching Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.